Hi, I'm going to be sharing my favorite rice pudding recipe. Today I'm going to be making two servings, one for myself and one for a friend. This is a really simple recipe and it's so easy to make. I'm going to have the recipe linked in the description for anyone who would like to cook along with me. And I hope that you enjoy my cozy cook with me video here. This recipe is really great if you're a beginner cook like me, where I might know how to make a few things, but I can definitely struggle if the recipe is more complicated. But this one is super easy as long as you remember to stir the bottom of the pot so that none of the rice gets stuck to the sides or burnt. Make sure when you're using rice to always wash the rice. morning so while that rice and milk is heating up a little bit I wanted to share a little bit of life update about what's been going on with me recently I've had a lot of stressful things going on like off camera my very close family member who I love dearly passed away just before Christmas this year so it's been really hard she was sick for several months and I was helping take care of her which added just a lot of stress to my life. You know, I, I miss her a lot. I miss her every day, but I am, you know, a little relieved that, you know, she's not in pain anymore. And in time like this, I really want some comfort, which is why I wanted to make this little rice pudding recipe. It's my favorite thing to eat in the winter because it's just so warm and sweet and it's really easy to make and just makes me really happy to eat as well and I find YouTube while it is like a lot of extra work to my life it's also really worth it I super enjoy being able to share this part of my life and to get to like express the like cottage horror side of myself that I don't get to do as much because I don't have a lot of like cottage horror friends in real life so it's nice to have this little community of other people who are like minded on here that I get to like share things with so that does make me happy and it's just nice you know with this new year I'm really hoping to get to share more on here on YouTube because it's just something I really enjoy and I'd like to just continue doing this kind of forever. I don't know how realistic that is, but you know, you can dream. And I really hope that it brings you some comfort and it's a like calming and inspiring space because that's really what I'd like to do for myself and for others, you know. So a little bit more about this recipe. This is my dad's favorite recipe. He loves rice pudding and it's his favorite thing to eat so I kind of like got that from him I also just love it I it's really nice because it can be eaten warm or cold so based on the temperature you can do some slight adjustments but I really like it for these cold months because it's like a warm comforting thing a little bit different from oatmeal but kind of similar in the same way and it's just super filling I also enjoy how it's so easy, it really only needs three ingredients and then there's like two other optional ingredients which is like the cinnamon and the vanilla. 
The only thing is you have to remember to stir the pot so that the bottoms and sides don't burn pretty often. Just, you know, keep it on a medium low simmer and just let it, let it go. It's really a nice relaxing thing. I like to have it on, then have my music on and my cup of tea and just relax and then walk over and make sure to stir it every once in a while. That's it for the little intermission and back to the cooking. I don't get to chat about this on my channel as much, but I am a pagan, so I do like to incorporate a little bit of good intentions when I'm cooking like this. Rice can be used in spells in many cultures for it's a blessing, money, prosperity, and protection. If it's something you're interested in, try stirring your intentions into the food as you cook. I like to think about warmth and comfort and some happiness while I'm cooking up some food. I'm going to be using this really cute strawberry dish to put my finished pudding into when I'm done. Any dish that has a lid and can be reheated is really ideal for your leftover rice pudding. I like to use this one and I also have another brown, more standard soup kind of container that I use as well. 